Hi guys, I'm back again. I hope you're all doing well. So I've decided for today's video, we are going to do a very easy and a quick tutorial on how to make basic colors on Clove 3D. So without wasting a lot of time, we're going to quickly add avatar from the library, female V2, the most normal avatar of all, beefy. And of course, I am going to use the basic t-shirt template from the library. This again, you just double click, you insert it in the 3D over the avatar, and you press spacebar to simulate. Once this is done, I will just increase the size of this using the edit pattern tool, press Z from the keyboard, click and drag, using the shift key, right click. So I'm doing this just to make it look like a very quick, easy dress. Just click, drag, right click, specify the length that you want to increase and then space bar. And let's remove the colors that are already there. And I'm going to follow the traditional method third of making colors that I learned in my during my graduation. Okay, so of course you can follow your own techniques and steps of construction, be it from Armstrong or any pattern drafting book that you prefer. So I've made an internal line for the back using the internal polygon tool and I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to cut for a very small slit at the back. Okay, so let's zoom in to the next line. And you can change the next line by using the edit pattern tool. Use your edit pattern tool. Click here and just try to move it. So traditionally, when you're making colors, they have to be close to your neck. So you're not going to keep the necklines so deep until and unless that's how your design is. Of course, we can, as designers, variate the depths according to the type of color, okay? So I choose to keep it smaller for now and I'll just make it a little rounded, maybe a little more smaller. And we can also bring this closer to the neck Click, drag, right click, 0.5 inches. So if I'm doing it for the front, I'm going to do the same for the back. Click, drag, right click, 0.5 inches. Okay, space bar. I am going to divide the front into two parts. If you want to. You can also keep it like this. For the traditional Chinese or Mandarin colors, you usually have a neckline which isn't as deep. So I'm using edit pattern tool. You can press that from keyboard. You, <coughs> I'm sorry. You can move the anchor points and you can use these handles that you see to, to you know, reshape the curves. Okay, space bar. For Mandarin, yeah, this is how high it is supposed to be. I'm not wrong. We can keep it a little deeper than this maybe. I, it really depends how you want it to be, okay? So I'll just stick to this. And I'm going to press G again for making an internal line. Click and click and enter so if you want you can just completely draw this line throughout the bottom it's up to you if you want it to be two paneled i'll just cut it from this part okay so let's begin with the color the first most important thing that you're supposed to do while making colors is since you're going to put the collar at the neckline you should measure the neckline. For measuring the neckline, we're going to press Z, which is the edit pattern tool. Keep it over the neckline. The front neckline, it measures 3.292. 
alt click and drag to pan the page and we are also supposed to measure the back neckline so i'll press shift key and i'll click on this so this is 3.998 which is approximately four inches 7.290 you can see here is the total uh, measurement of both the segments that we've selected using the edit pattern tool so you click on one of the segments press shift key and click on the other segment it's going to show you the values individually for each segment as well as the uh some of it so 7.290 is going to be the width of the rectangle that i begin with 7.290 and height is going to be the height of color 1.2 for now again something that's completely up to you now i've made this and i am going to start with the drafting I'm going to use add point tool. I'm going to add a point at four inches. So if you remember, the back neckline width was four. Right click four. Oops. Four. Okay, so I have points marked at four. This is going to be attached to the back neckline and this is going to be for the front. I am going to move this point, click, drag, right click by 0 0.5 inches. And this point again, click, drag, right click, 0 0.5. Inches. We can curve it out a little, so curvature tool. See from the keyboard, click and drag, click and drag, make a very smooth, small curve. Okay, super basic color. Okay, you just need to understand the concept. This is going to be attached to the bag. This is for the front. You want, you can curve this out. I'm going to use smooth curve tool for the same. Click on this point and drag. You can use curvature tool or edit curve point tool, any tool that you're comfortable with. Done. Now comes the part where I'm going to arrange it to the avatar's neckline. For that, I am going to go to avatar display option and turn the arrangement points on, or you can simply press shift and F from the keyboard. Transform pattern tool, click on the color and click on the arrangement point tool this is exactly where i want it to be super uh, we are definitely supposed to i've just measured the half of both the necklines so this is for like half the collar edit pattern tool right click on this segment and unfold symmetric so we have the other side let me click on the arrangement point tool uh, arrangement point again to arrange it okay click on the pattern click on the point bring it closer using the gizmo uh, this is good to go next we're supposed to add the sewing lines for that i'm going to use free sewing tool you can also use segment sewing tool so we simply click on the segments that we want to stitch together. Make sure your sewing lines, they are parallel. Yeah, parallel. Click, 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 click. Oops. Done. Ah, that was easy. Spacebar. Aha. Uh -huh. Now your colors, they're supposed to be fused and they have to be very stiff there are two things that you can do one is of course right click and strengthen it or control z you can change this fabric to see i'll click on the default fabric in the object browser and from the property editor i'll scroll down a little to change the physical property preset to you see trim hardware so it makes it stiffer. Let me press spacebar. 
just like you have a very stiff fabric after adding fusing to it and then this uh, doesn't really look very smooth the lines for that we are going to change the particle distance so you click here so particle reducing the particle distance is going to reduce the mesh size of this particular object and you'll be able to see it smoother so i've kept it five click on the pattern piece from the property editor change to particle distance click again and remember to press spacebar so you see the curve is now smoother everything looks smoother and good to go let me try reducing uh, edit pattern tool and i'm going to click drag this much i'm quite not happy with this shape so i just tried moving it down and maybe the curve should be like this let me press the space bar yeah better than it was okay so this is so super easy you want this to be sharp or you can you know avoid using that smooth curve tool so you'll have a proper rectangular kind of thing okay uh, again this is just a very basic draft of it just for you to understand how things in pattern drafting really works of course it is more technical we have to add in some more steps so the color fits in even better but this will give you a very rough idea of how things work while drafting a collar. Okay. Next, say you want to add a shirt collar over it. So we are going to make it exactly over the collar. Right click, zoom extends all. Let me see where is our collar. Okay. So right click, zoom to selected. Now exactly over it. Uh, let's say I want to place my shirt collar. I click here, shift key, click here. So we need to attach it here. And this is why we need to know the measurement of this part. So which totals out to be four, shift key and this, four plus two, 6.137, okay? So let's make it quickly before I forget, 6.137, done. The height of this collar, I don't want it to be any wider than two. Okay. Again, I've made it for just the half side of it. I am going to curve it out using the curve. Okay, edit pattern tool to first just add some shaping. Now you can uh, follow your steps. I'm repeating this again and again. Uh, the 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 i don't know what to call this but the aim of you know uh shaping this like this is so you get that pointy edge that you have on the short collar so it has to be something out and up at some angle now these angles they're going to vary according to your designs i'll just keep it visually normal for me like visually if i find it great i'll just let it be curvature tool to smoothen out this bit from here edit pattern tool to move this up just a bit maybe just 0.25 don't judge me for the pattern making skills now huh? curvature tool and this. Okay, and let me use the edit pattern tool to unfold this, right click and unfold, symmetric. I can reduce this, this gives a nice effect. I don't know, I feel. Okay, or you can even trace the patterns. That's not something that I'm doing in my tutorials very recently, but that's also a very super easy technique of making drafts. So free swing tool, I'll just click, click. This this needs to be stitched here. 
rotate your avatar. Alt, click and drag to pan the page. So my color is here, my avatar is here. Arrangement points. Click on the draft, click on the point. I hope, yeah, this is exactly how I want it to be. And spacebar. Now the thing is, the color has turned out to be great, but the thing is, it should be, you know, kind of falling over it, something like this. So for this, you're going to use the fold arrangement tool that you see here in the 3D window, 3D toolbox. Click on this, click on the line where you want to add fold at, and then rotate through this blue curve, click and drag. There are basically two arrows that you can see. So if you rotate from the top, it's going to rotate the top pattern piece. If you try to rotate from here, it's going to rotate the bottom pattern piece. So of course, for this, we're supposed to rotate this one. Once you're done, press spacebar. Aha, there you go. And let me reduce the particle distance for this as well. Spacebar. And ta-da. So this is how you can make a very basic short collar in Cloth 3D. And I really think this was easy.